hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn about how we can set up our power canvas app to work in a mobile offline mode so that users still able to can save and submit records and once the your power uh, mobile app gets online then it should sync back the data with the data verse. so there are some prerequisites which it should have so that you can allow you can enable the offline mobile mode for your canvas app so you should be running a version uh, later than 3.23 and power app canvas app whatever you are creating must be in a solution and it only works with the dataverse as a data source and you must have the environment maker or system administrator rights to set up the your offline mode for your power canvas apps so let's get started so i will start with one of my table that is retail products so i'll just search for my table so there is one existing table which has few columns and already added data. So it's a product name, category, quantity and unit price. So this is a pretty much a simple application where a salesperson would require to update the data related to this retail products in Power uh, Mobile app. And we want this app to work in offline mode and once the network connection is back then it, the data should get to sync. So I'll just go to solutions and where I'll start creating a solution. It only works when we create a canvas app within a solution. So I just name this solution as my retail product solution and I'll just have it as a with the existing publisher. Let's say this one default and create it. So once the solution is created, I'll just add one power canvas app and I'll just set up that as phone and I'll name that as retail product so for now we have followed the same simple steps and to have the data or the data was stable allow the data to be synced up in offline mode we have to enable the properties for my data was stable so I'll just go back to my retail table back And in this table I'll open it and I'll go to the properties of this table so while creating a new table you will also get these properties and in the advanced options you will find one option to enable the can be taken offline so just check this box for your this table whichever table you want to work in offline mode so once you check it save it we are done at the table configuration level now the next part is we have to enable the offline mode into our canvas app for that you have to go to the settings and in the upcoming feature in the preview if you search for offline you will find dataverse offline feature over here so allow users to see change dataverse data even when they are not connected so just enable this feature and as soon as you enable it then you go to the general setting of this app you will find that you have option of can be used as offline this is preview you have to enable it so that app can add one more additional screen and it can select the offline profile whatever profile you want to attach it to right now it's auto generated profile so there is an option where we can create custom profile for our environments so i'll take that topic as a separate in a separate video so right now when you say like auto generated it will generate one offline profile for you and you can close it and you will see there is a screen too which is added and if I zoom up this one you will find it's saying that add app name and there is one icon over there which shows that whether you are connected or in offline mode so I have selected it on select of this icon if I expand this formula you will find it is Checking switch connection, touching, notify your device is connected to the network, your app is ready to work and if it's connected with a warning then some data of your device must be synchronized with the server. So this sort of formula, already built formula, you will have this on icon, this icon. So this can act as a home screen for our scenario. So I can just very well delete my screen number one. So this screen would be my landing screen. And now I'll start adding one data source to it so that we can work with our retail product data source. And I've added it. 
and now as a next step i'll be just adding one gallery so that i can show my existing products and on click of that one gallery item i'll be showing one edit form and the intent of this uh, entire purpose is like whenever i click on edit form i should able to update the data and it should sync back to my dataverse table in an offline mode so i'll just add this vertical gallery so right now i just need to cut it and move it to the right place in the main section container i'll just manually paste it and i'll just select my data source my retail product and will set up my columns or fields for it so i'll just select this product name as default and the secondary subtitle should be category name so we are good so this is our vertical gallery i'll close it and on the selection of this arrow i want to navigate to a new screen so i'll just minimize my, my this screen too i'll just add one more screen from here and that screen i'll just choose from template and i'll have that a screen as a form and again i'll just connect to data and data sources are this retail product data source and added field i'll add few fields to it so let me choose category a quantity and unit price i'll add these four fields to it and close it i'll just minimize so that we can look at the entire form all right so now i'll on click of this select if i just select this uh, my save icon so i should able to submit the form and navigate to my screen one bag or two in my case landing screen and if i close it again i wish to navigate back to my screen 2 which is a home screen and from screen 2 on the selection of my this next arrow icon of this gallery i wish to navigate to the next screen and i'll just simply say navigate to my screen 3 which is having a detailed form and in screen 3 i'll connect the form to to the selected gallery item so i'll just select the item and my gallery is gallery one dot selected so whatever item we would be selecting it will start showing up the data over there so now we have developed a simple application which shows this gallery and on selection of it it shows the details of it i'm just saving it and running it i have this gallery and i'll select this arrow icon it populated my is selected gallery part now so then right now because i am using my laptop for this application i need to publish it and use this app into my mobile so that i can make a offline operation and once my internet connection is back then the data should write back to the tables again so i have just published it and now i am going to use my mobile to browse this app and then create the data i am on my phone and i have just opened power apps and i will try to find my apps and right now i am connected so if i just search for my app which i just published is retail retail product So right now I am installing this app and once it's done it will show me the so you can see that I have this this app may now be used without an internet connection so right now I'm connected so that's fine I can just actually enable or turn off my with the internet connection you can see like at the down it's showing no internet and if I click on this any of the item it opens up that item and i wish to add or update this quantity let's say with 5000 and just clicking on save so right now if i go back to over here so right now it's showing 5000 but the data writing back to my table or 
is not yet there if i refresh my table into my screen so i'll still that see that older record so now i enable my internet connection back again and just going back to my this thing and now it's saying reconnected so that means the connection has been established with the data verse and once i open it it should write back automatically it should sync the data which is saved in offline mode to the actual data was table so if i come back to my data table and i make a refresh i should see the updated value of quantity which we did in an offline operation so right now is sensing led with a 5000 quantity so this is the advantage of having offline mode enabled but just remember we should always have a data verse as a data source we cannot have sharepoint as of now for any offline mobile app as a data source so uh, this is a very good feature because probably you may want to develop something some apps related to field technicians which they can update the records even without internet and once they have the internet back then the data should write back to the data verse table so that's the intent of today's video if you like it please do drop your comments i'll try to answer and that's it thank you for today